Vera Mesa is home to one of the largest Filipino communities in all of San Diego. Find out what Filipino businesses and places Filipinos hit up on their day-to-day -day lives on Jaycation Next. Hey, what's up Jaycationers? Welcome back to the San Diego series here on Jaycation. Today we are starting the San Diego City series and we're hitting up my neighborhood where I grew up since I was about four years old. We're in Mira Mesa. Now this is gonna be a little bit different. I'm gonna do an actual Mira Mesa travel guide in the future, but this one's gonna focus on the Filipino community. Now Mira Mesa is home to one of the largest Filipino populations in all of San Diego. My high school was full of Filipinos and there are so many small businesses and markets and restaurants that are Filipino owned here in Mira Mesa and I wanted to show you guys that. So if you could hit that subscribe button, if you're just joining me, hit that notification bell and that like button, it really helps distribute this video throughout the interwebs and throughout YouTube. So I really appreciate that guys. And yes, let's explore Mira Mesa. So in this video, we're gonna take you through to Seafood City, which is the Filipino market here in Mira Mesa. A few restaurants, some bakeries, and a few other Filipino owned businesses around town that you might want to check out if you're either visiting or if you're from here in San Diego and you just want to see what they have around here. And I really do want to highlight these smaller businesses, especially during this time of the pandemic, because uh, it's always a good thing to pump some money back into their pockets and help them out during this hard time. So although Lucky Seafood is not a Filipino market, they have ingredients to where you can make Filipino food. So a ton of Filipinos still go over there. Next up is Valerio City Bakery right behind me. This is a really popular Filipino bakery where you can get hot pandesal and different types of baked goods. So Valerio's is a staple all around San Diego and I would definitely check that out if you're looking for hot pandesal and other things. The next spot we're gonna check out is inside a Vietnamese market but it's Filipino owned. Filipino food and a bakery. So let's head into Vien Hung Supermarket. Back in the day, this used to be an Edward Cinema. I used to watch movies like Aladdin when I was a kid in this exact building. So they have a place here, Zambales, Remit and Travel Services, Julie's Desserts and Bakery. I kind of got lost in there, but I think that's the Filipino spots. Correct me if I'm wrong, if I missed this. All right guys, so the next spot on the list is Max's Fried Chicken. It's the newest Filipino restaurant to open up here in Mira Mesa. Now, Max's is pretty expensive and it's a chain restaurant in the Philippines. You've seen it in my previous Philippines videos before. We went to Max's over in Laguna. So go check that video out. If you haven't yet, I'll put that in the description box below. Anyways, Max's serves some really good fried chicken and a lot of Filipino dishes. They just raise the prices. I mean, you know, we're here in America, so it's going to be a lot more than it is in the Philippines. In the Philippines, I can get like a party of eight and pay for it myself and it'll only be like 30 bucks. Max's is expensive. Yep, pretty pricey. But is it good? It's all right. I mean, chicken is, uh, is good. It's cheaper in the Philippines though. Oh yeah. All right, guys, next up is in the same center as Max's is Sayulita's Mexican food. Now, the catch here is the couple that owns Sayulita's, one is Filipino and one is Mexican, and they actually brought Filipino Mexican fusion burritos and fries to the fold. And it's a really popular. People come to Mira Mesa from all over the world just to try this Filipino Mexican fusion food. So we're gonna go inside and try out a burrito. So this is their specialty menu. As you guys can see, they have different type of Filipino stuff. The tostilog burrito, which is what I got. Spamsilog burrito. Tocino burrito. Pacman burrito. And a longanisa burrito. Also up front, they have their traditional Mexican food menu. And if you look to the left is where they have the Filipino Mexican fusion. Check that out. They even have longonisa fries and tocino fries. That's me. Oh, red sauce, please. Yep. Thank you. Also, that sign right there is the Lumpia Quesa Burrito. So they even have a Lumpia Quesa Burrito here. 
I don't know if I could handle that one. We'll try the Tortillog burrito here. All right, Jaycationers, we made it back home. I got the Tortillog burrito. Now, this burrito's got rice, eggs, tocino, and cheese. And in the Philippines, when I have a tocino breakfast, I like to put vinegar on it. And Mari got this vinegar with some chilies in it. And to add a little Mexican flavor, I put a little bit of the hot sauce as well. So let's bite into this. Oh my God. Wow. I just love the tocino pork. Um, putting the vinegar on this, mixing it with the eggs and the rice, oh, it's on point. I've had the Langonisa burrito before, but it's with fries and carne asada, and it just doesn't mix well. This mixes well. This feels like a Filipino breakfast in a Mexican burrito. Wow. This definitely beats a steak and eggs burrito or a machaca burrito if you like Filipino food. Mmm. Does that taste like a tocino breakfast to you? Yes, indeed. Like eating tocino in a burrito. And it's better with the vinegar in it, huh? Yep, that's good stuff. All right, Jaycationers, so the next place I wanted to show you is R&B Filipino Cuisine. It's the closest Filipino restaurant to my house. Now, it's not really walking distance. You still gotta drive, but it is the closest to the vicinity of where I live. In this commercial mall, there used to be a place called Danmar's Oriental Market, and that used to be like a mini Filipino market back in the day in the 90s they used to rent out Filipino movies and that's kind of how I rented out all these Filipino comedies back in the day yeah shout out to Dan Mars back in the day the next place on our list is this medical center right behind me now Operation Samahan and Filipino dentists Filipino doctors they reside here and a lot of Filipinos get their checkups around this area so this medical center is right next to a new spot that we're gonna check out next so a lot of offices here are Filipino owned. And there it is. The future Jollibee in Mira Mesa, San Diego's newest Jollibee location. Brand new. So we're going to eventually come back and do a video of this Jollibee on its grand opening, hopefully, and do a little mukbang. Comment below, what's your favorite Jollibee food in their menu? That Jollibee is opening up pretty soon, probably end of this year, beginning of next year. So the reason why a lot of Filipinos reside in this community of Mira Mesa is because Miramar is right next door, which is a military base, and a lot of military are Filipino. And also, it's very central to a lot of the hospitals here in San Diego. You got UCSD nearby, you have Sharp nearby, Scripps, and other places, Kaiser, and a lot of Filipinos are nurses and doctors. So you get a lot of Filipinos residing in this area because it became one of the most central areas to live in in the 80s. And it was cheaper back then to live here. But now, obviously, it's gone up in price. Now, another spot to hit up here is Mama Sinia Rice and Noodles. Check it out. They got pancit and lumpia and a bunch of different Filipino dishes. This is off of Black Mountain in Mira Mesa. Uh, my favorite Vietnamese spot, Pho. Kakali is over here. Yeah, there's also a Filipino spot here and I didn't want to leave out any Filipino small businesses around here. So if you guys have any businesses that I left out that I didn't highlight that's from Mira Mesa, please let me know in the comment section below. Maybe I'll go back and cover it eventually. All right, guys. So the next spot I wanted to show you is Manila Sunset Grill. And this place has really good breakfast. And I've gone here in the past. Look, they promote their Babinka a la mode. This Manila Sunset is technically in Scripps Ranch because once you cross the 15, it's considered Scripps Ranch. But people still claim it as the Mira Mesa area. I don't know. If you're a local watching this, I vote Scripps Ranch. But people will say it's Mira Mesa or Scripps Mesa. Let me know what you guys think below. Is it Scripps Ranch or Mira Mesa? So there's the 15 freeway. And once you cross that freeway and you're east of Mira Mesa, this becomes Scripps Ranch. This right here is Jig's Hair Studio. Now Jig's is a family friend of my clan. Jig's actually did my mom's hair in her wedding day and moved here from the Philippines. So Jig's has been a long-standing hair salon here in Mira Mesa. 
in this area. It's called the Filipino School. It was designed for Filipino Americans to learn more about the Filipino culture. I wanted to show it to you guys, but I think it's in that office building. Look, even this AT&T has the best Pinoy programs. If you get there, direct TV. Hi, JKationers. I am here with Madi. We're here at Seafood City, which is the Filipino market. Madi, you get all your ingredients here, right? Right here. Seafood City. What are we picking up today? This is uh, two days before Thanksgiving. I'm picking up some uh, banana for banana fritters and some wrappers and uh, a couple other things. So I think he's picking up some Turon ingredients. Now this is your non-stop shop for everything Filipino. If you want to send money to the Philippines, they have that here. There's also an LDC in this area and there's a bake shop, Red Ribbon. Right here is a Chow King. That's where you can get your Filipino mommy and shomai chop suey. Oh yeah, you already know. I love these dried mangoes. These are from the Philippines. Now you guys know I'm scared of fish, so this creeps me out right here. You get your fish balls, you can get your noodles, tofu. These are the Filipino style hot dogs that are sweeter than normal. And if you're looking for your cerveza, they have the wide array of San Miguel beers. Red Horse, San Miguel Light, San Mig. Negra San Miguel and flavored beer. Now my birthday's coming up. Mom makes pancit every year because for Filipinos, pancit means long life when you make it on someone's birthday. So here are pancit noodles. And then my favorite aisle is right here. It's the ice cream aisle. They don't have ube. Ube is really popular, guys. They don't even have the ube here. This is the fish and meat section they always have the datu puti and the soy sauce combo pack mixed together seven blocks what you get Madi? some turon banana turon cabbage some uh, vegetables there carrots is this where you get your turon wrappers yep. this is the wrapper for lumpia and turon how much about a buck 99 each. Maybe I'll pick up a six pack of sand mix for Thanksgiving. Let's check it out. If you need your rice cooker, they sell them all here. It's your Filipino style spaghetti. It's more on the sweeter side. Not my taste, but a lot of other people love it. What are you looking for? You can get your pineapple gel syrup here, jackfruit, aka langka. And y'all know Filipinos love the spam. Also within the spot is Filipino Desserts Plus where you can pick up pre-made turon, banana fritters. We even have their pancit and all this other stuff here. And then You've seen Valerio's Bakery, the actual one. There is a line here, but there's also a Valerio's here. Some of my favorite stuff right here is their ube pastries. And they got their pandesal right here. And the ube makapuno. Need to pick up your big sacks of rice. There they are. Look at this, they have sum on here. Babinka, Aiko, which is a huge for Hello Kitty stuff. Filipinos love Hello Kitty and these types of decorations. There's also a grill city. A grill city right here where you can get Filipino food to go. They have all these different types of Filipino barbecue and fish already. Now look how expensive these Filipino paroles are. These are uh, Christmas decorations that Filipinos hang up in their houses. This one's lit up right here. $2.99. You're better off just uh, going to the Philippines and bringing it back a lot cheaper. We actually don't have one of these in our house. I've never actually grew up with this, but a lot of Filipino households do. This one's a little cheaper, $2.49. 
And then right here at Home in America, this is still Grill City and they sell the fish already cooked. Look at that. Then you can get all this other treats, some good treats. All right, Mari, so we got our stuff. We got our stuff here. Corona ingredients, pancit yeah. stuff. All right, Jaycationers. Now, if you're also looking for a mid-afternoon pick-me-up, Cafe 86 is here and they sell great ube treats. I'm going to pick up an ube latte and a ube crinkle. Get one of those ube desserts. So I got an iced ube latte and a ube butter bar, which is phenomenal. It tastes like ube with a crust on it. It almost tastes like a graham, graham cracker type crust. Some of my favorite stuff here in Cafe 86. It's like this is their top three. Their Halo Halo, their upside down Halo Halo, and their Ube Monster Shake, which I've had before at the Cafe 86 in Pasadena. These are crinkles. That's me. Awesome, thank you. You too. guys so we got the iced ube latte got that purple drink you know the ube is my favorite drink in the world oh it's so tasty this thing hits the spot <sighs> right next to the right aid here near seafood city is lbc where you can send boxes and packages to the philippines and remit money over to the philippines and then manila fast food and desserts is right here this is the og filipino food spot in mira mesa I remember going here as a kid. My dad used to get food here for my Lolo, my grandpa, uh, when he was taking care of him. And this is where we'd go with my Lolo, Manila fast food and desserts to grab some lunch. All right guys, so we're passing by this place called PNB Rapid Remit, where you can send money to the Philippines. And it's really useful for a lot of people that have families back in the Philippines or businesses to transfer over money. Yeah, it's faster when we go to Atlas now. It's right there uh, instantly. The money gets there like in 10 minutes. How much of a fee is that? Is there a percentage of what you send? Yeah, you take? For, uh, Atlas charges about $8 per remittance. And anything you send, doesn't matter how much, it's $8. So that's the farmer's market on Tuesdays. A lot of Filipinos go there. The farmer's market is where my old school, Mira Mesa High School, the parking lot is. And I went there a few weeks ago to check out Becca's Ube Desserts, Becca's Treats. So let's go back to that footage right now. What's up, Jaycationers? So we're here at my old high school, uh, Mira Mesa High School. And every Tuesday, there's a farmer's market here. And today, we're gonna go to the farmer's market and check out this place called Becca's Treats where they make a special ube dessert. And you know me and ube, I love that stuff. So let's go check it out. Straight up, it's all Filipino aunties up in here. What's going on, man? What's up, brother? How are you, man? Becca's Treats. Yeah, thanks for stopping by. Yeah, I like the hat too, man. You're repping the SD. Yeah. Always. <laughs> We're gonna go home, guys, and try this out. Also picked up an ube shirt. That was cool, that was Marvin. He uh, owns this along with his wife. Hooked it up with a mask, so thanks for that. We picked up a few Ube treats that we're gonna try out at home. Got an Ube shirt. So yeah, we're excited to try this out. Here in my old high school, a lot of Filipinos up in here. So it's businesses like that that I wanna support, especially here in uh, Mira Mesa, my hometown. And yeah, check it out, Becca's treats. We're gonna go home and we're gonna try these out. All right, guys, so we're gonna try out Becca's Treats, the purple rabbit. Hey, there's Madi. Madi made, made a sighting. Let's check this out. The white rabbit, this looks so good. Marvin was telling me, now they were telling me that this is a little bit on the sweeter side. Mmm, got that chewiness to it, thinner sliced cookie, but the ube flavor is, oh yeah, this is amazing. I love this, this is the first cookie I've tried there and I love it already, look at that. So on Tuesdays, Mira Mesa's Farmer's Market, go check out Becca's Treats. I also think that they go to other places around San Diego. So follow them on Instagram and check them out. I'm gonna enjoy the rest of this cookie. And this is Mira Mesa High. This is the bungalows I used to go have class in. And 
we're about to hit the softball fields and there's a huge population of Filipino American kids and students that go to this school and yeah they offer Tagalog classes a lot of memories a lot of baseball memories over right here Marauder Field that's coach right there coach coach Madi coach thrown out all the time coach coach would always fight with the umpires and flip them off <laughs> Right behind me is Jimmy Bake Shop. They not only have Filipino bakery treats like pandesal and different types of ube ensaymadas, but they also serve food. They have a great breakfast special here where they do topsilug, long salug, longanisa, and rice. You can also get catering from here. So we're here at Jimmy Bake Shop. In the mornings, they make fresh hot pandesal. This is their ube bread, which I love. Here's their pandesal. And they got ube pastillas. What's that, Mari? Now, if you like the Filipino chocolate drink Milo, they have Milo here. This is the non hot pandesal, but if you come here around 8 to 10 in the morning, they have it. They even have birthday cakes. So, they got top salug, long salug. You can get your breakfast here, you get your hot pandesal here. <laughs> They even have Filipino style masks. Ooh, and they got ube pandesal. I'm gonna get one of these. All right, Jaycationers, we're back home. So this is the bread I got at Jime. It's ube flavored, and there's some uh, ube stuff in the inside of it. Little gel type ube, pasty ube. Mmm. I didn't toast this, but if you toast this, this is fantastic. Ube bread, who knew? All right, Jaycationers, we are in our final Filipino spot in the video for Filipino community in Mira Mesa. We're here at Nanay's Barbecue at the Marketplace, the furthest west you can go here in Mira Mesa. And it's probably one of the last Filipino businesses here in Mira Mesa, uh, on the west side of Mira Mesa. And they're known for their sisig. So we're going to go try out their sisig and we're going to get it to go and try it out at home. Look at this, they even have a sign for Senator Manny Pacquiao. They even have banana chips here. Corn beef in there. Hi, right, Jaycationers, so we're trying the Nanais sisig. We have it here plated with some rice and we got mom's caldereta right here yeah let's try it out it's a uh, spicy chicken sisig and it's got some peppers on it it's like seven bucks for a large that's pretty pricey but it's pretty good taste the spiciness on this chicken sisig you got a little bit of this pepper Ooh. So from Nanai's Sisig to Nanai's, my Nanai's Caldereta. <laughs> Alright guys, finally just popped open a San Mig Light. Now, since it's imported from the Philippines, it's a lot more expensive here in America. So a six pack would cost you $9.99. But in the Philippines, you can get this for like a dollar. Even less than that. Love the San Miguel light. Nice and crisp. This beer is so refreshing, especially in the humidity. All right, Jaycationers, late night snack. We got our Cafe 86 right here. That ube with the crust in the bottom. Mmm. Y'all love it. The ube mixed with those, that cracker, those crumbs. Man, it's the best. This is my favorite. The butter bars. All right, Jay Kationer, so that will do it for the Filipino community in Mira Mesa here in San Diego, California. I'm gonna finish this giant Tostalug burrito from Sayulitas. But if you guys like this video and you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please hit that subscribe button. I have plenty of videos to come here in San Diego. Also hit that notification bell because I have plenty of live streams coming up. I got a brand new iPhone 12 Pro Max right here and I want to do live streams walking around nice landmarks in San Diego, so stay tuned for that. Also, please like this video, it really helps the distribution of the video on YouTube. 
and I'll see you guys in the next video. Next up, we're gonna check out five must try beers in San Diego. We'll see you in the next video and in the words of Ron Burgundy, stay traveling, San Diego. Uh...